I, I think nobody disagrees is the thing. Every single person agrees that sound makes videos, video games better. It's not even just soundtrack. It's the little satisfying noises you never think about. I actually think, wait a minute. There was a game that, that really, 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 I felt this. Half-Life 2 had the most unsatisfying gun sounds in video game history. We're talking about what games are true 10 out of 10s. Half-Life 2 is not a 10 out of 10 game. It's a revolutionary game for the time, but it's more of like a really good tech demo <laughs> with an amazing intro. And I think that if Half-Life 2 had better gun sounds, it was already a great game, but I think it is more forgettable because the gun sounds were so bad. The only fun gun in Half-Life 2 was the gravity gun. Everything else, like the pistol sound in Half-Life 2 is the most pathetic pistol sound in the history of video gaming. So he's like, I 100%, I 100% believe this. Play a clip? Sure, I will. That's Half-Life 1, awesome pistol sound. Yes. Now listen to this, listen to the difference. What the f*** is this? What is this? So bad. It's so bad, dude. It's it's awful. It's awful. It's awful. And then the machine gun didn't sound good either. I don't think Half-Life 2 is uh, a masterpiece. I don't think Half-Life 2 is a 10 out of 10. I loved it when I played it. I think if you play it again, it has plenty of downsides. I love the Half-Life story. I don't think Half-Life 2 as a gameplay has held up very well. I think they did uh, just a couple whack things. It could have been way better. The immersion of Half-Life 2 is unmatched. Bro, you guys are literally only talking about the opening scene. I legitimately think all of you just played the beginning with the train and City 17, and you're like, yes, this is perfect. Because the game falls off so hard the farther you get from the beginning. Airboating around the f swamps. But no Nova Prospect, dude, Nova Prospect's tedious as f Also, like, the ending is not even that great, dude. The ending's a kind of a letdown. You guys give out 10 out of 10s way too easily. If it came out today, totally new, without the graphics, it would not be considered a f masterpiece. What game is a 10 out of 10? Mario 64, 10 out of 10 game. Amazing at the time, holds up today. I actually think even if you're a Mario 64 hater, I think even if you have a dartboard of Miyamoto on your wall, you have to give Mario 64 a 10 out of 10. It was so far ahead of its time that it's still the best movement in a platformer to date. It's like one of the most common speedrun games today. And it's fun to watch. People that were born well after it came out are like, this is fun to play and watch. It's crazy. Someone's saying it looks ugly? Bro, I can't imagine a game looking better that came out when it did. What game from 1996 is aged better than Mario 64 in looks. I don't, I can't name one. It is aged so, I mean, it, it's ugly compared to modern games, but it's, it looks good. It's like the, it's, it's like the first 3D game and it still looks better than 99% of them. If it's your first time playing it, Portal 2. Cause Portal 2, I mean, Portal games are less fun than every time you play them. You could play it now and it would still hold up. Like the humor in the storyline of Portal 2 is like, how many other games have that? The voice acting from Watley, the, it's like, it's a very rare high watermark. Just like the freedom of control in Mario 64. It's like like not many platformers have ever come close to that. Last of Us Part 1? Uh, I mean, perfect is kind of a dumb word for it, but let's just say like a 10 out of 10. Like this game is just an all-time masterpiece. Hades? Hades for me is probably a perfect game. Yep, I think Hades is a perfect game. It does exactly what it set out to do. I'd also give Sekiro a 10. Those are the games, and I don't I don't see Half-Life 2 up there. I didn't know Half-Life 2 had stands in 2022. Bro, you know <laughs> that she's not going to sleep with you, bro. Gabe Newell's not going to make Half-Life 3 if you guys call it a 10 out of 10 enough times. You guys know that? Hitman's 10 out of 10? Let me think about that. Let me honestly think about that. Because I love Hitman. Hitman's one of, obviously one of the games I played most of my entire life. I think the Hitman trilogy is awesome. You get so much content. It's really fun. But I don't know if I... 10 out of 10? Maybe. The problem with Hitman is that I played it from 2016. Each one kind of piecemealed out everything. It took a long time to fix and upgrade and add maps and add DLC. And But if you do get all three and you get it all in one, I mean, it's like, it's you get so much and it's very well polished. It's good. Probably a nine out of 10 for me, but Halo 2 is a 10 out of 10. That's interesting to say. I don't know. I don't know. Halo 2 is a great game. It almost is unfair of me to judge games by modern standards. Although I think some games are so good, they're timeless. I don't think stay is a 10 out of 10 if you judge it by modern standards but obviously for its time it absolutely is it was way ahead of the game i mean like i don't know friendships were made over halo 2 that like have lasted <laughs> you know what i'm saying i also think halo 2 is the best campaign of all the halos but i haven't played reach or beyond so maybe maybe they're got great now but i think halo 2 is the best campaign and it's not close honest elden ring rating i haven't beaten it yet i cannot review it till i beat it i mean it's it's actually elden ring is singular elden ring is like is a game that i've never experienced at all it, it, elden ring to me feels like a single player M MMO. There is so much more content than any other game I've ever played. I've never even come close to playing a game this big with this much stuff, and I actually had a great time. I have no complaints, really. I love Elden Ring so far. To be honest, 
if it wasn't as polished as it is, if it didn't have so many cool, unique enemies, I generally prefer smaller games, focused, tight games. You know what I'm saying? I like games that are like, they have a singular purpose, they're focused. They end in a, like a certain amount of hours. They're just beautifully well-crafted. Hollow Knight, Hollow Knight. Oh, Hollow Knight is a 10 out of 10 game. Hollow Knight is a perfect game. The sound, the controls, the world, the bosses, the enemies, the story, the lore, the every, every, Hollow Knight is a perfect game. 10 out of 10. And Half-Life 2 could make it there if they made the pistol sound better. <laughs> but they did. So what are you going to say? They did. The pistol sounds like shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I said it. Hollow Knight, best Metroidvania ever made. Easy. It's easy. Well, people call them Hollow Knight likes, right? Some fucking younger people. They, they see Metroidvanias nowadays and call them Hollow Knight ripoffs because <laughs> it's so fucking good that it replaced the, the genre in their mind. Metroid Prime is a great game, but I, I think Hollow Knight has blown all other Metroidvanias out of the water. Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. <laughs> Fall Guys is a great game. I, if Fall Guys had just um had a level editor at launch, I think it would have never left top 10 of Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it is infinite content. They just keep running out of levels. Any multiplayer 10 out of 10 games? That's tough. See, multiplayer games go through a cycle, right? Anyone who practices a little bit will see immediate results. And then it's very fun. So you can play the game. You're getting into it. You're learning. And as you're learning, it's like a Ponzi scheme. There are new floods of new players coming in. And so you always have people to beat. But the second that the game stops getting that big funnel of new players and slows down and calcifies, the, the ability to progress without grinding slows down dramatically. And they start to have less and less fun. And games become more of a coin flip. I, uh, Melee. Melee is a 10 out of 10 competitive game. Yeah, it's, it stood the test of time. Melee as tournaments that get, you know, 50 to 100k 20 years after it came out. It's outlasted StarCraft 1, which I thought would be impossible. It's outlasted CSGO 1.6, which you'd think would be impossible possible and also it still looks good the sounds and the way it was designed it holds up like it looks it looks nice it looks clean league of legends 10 out of 10 ah it just feels so painful to say i think rating league of legends low is a disservice to having built one of the longest lasting big games of all time with a massive multiplayer scene that continues to update but I could never in my heart of hearts with how much pain that game has caused me. I could never give it a 10. The problem with League of Legends is that a video game should not physically hurt you. <laughs> that that I think Miyamoto wrote that in the laws of video games back in the day. Yeah, it's like saying black tar heroin is 10 out of 10. <laughs> Minecraft. That's a good question. Is Minecraft a 10 out of 10 game? Maybe. Maybe. Let's be honest here. I'm not a big Minecrafter. Let's be honest here. Remove all your feelings about <laughs> Minecraft stands and dream and what. Remove all your feelings, okay? Just talk about the game. It was incredibly ahead of its time. It, it's one of the first polished, creative open world games like that. It inspired so much. It's still relevant today. I think in the standards of the video game world, it'd be hard pressed not to give it a 10 out of 10. I think you have to. And I, I'm, I'm doing it against my will almost. Ocarina of Time? Probably. Probably Ocarina of Time, though... I'm biased because I find Majora's Mask to be better. I liked Majora's Mask more both at the time as a, as a kid and on uh, replay. So it's tough for me to give it a 10 because I don't know what made Majora's Mask better in my mind. I have to think about it more, but like it just feels like it's a point above. Uh, but either way, like whether it's a, a 9 or a 10, or, Ocarina of Time is one of the greatest video games ever made. And truly for its time, so fucking far ahead of the pack. I remember because I was a kid in the fucking console wars, the N64 versus PS1 console wars, where fucking Nintendo was getting their ass kicked. Being a, a kid and all the fucking kids in my block had PS1s, it's fucking hard. And Ocarina of Time made every fucking RPG on PS1 look like shit. <laughs> I mean, it just, I mean, PS1 games just looked uglier, and they had worse music, and they were fucking bad. Ocarina of Time was a great fucking example in those days, but I, I don't know that it, um... Resident Evil 4? Ooh! Is it a 10 out of 10? Maybe. Probably. Oh! Probably. Resident Evil 4 is a perfect game. Front to back, dude. It really is. I mean, all the flaws that, you, that it has are excusable for how good everything else is. But it's one of the first games that really felt like you were playing a movie. Where every new scene has a new... There's a new bit of dialogue. There's a new cutscene. There's a new set piece. There's a new interesting enemy. It was it was great. What about Skyrim? Pfft, what the fuck Skyrim, dude? I hate to be that guy. I think Skyrim has many, many, many glaring flaws that I can't excuse, but it was beautiful for its time. I mean, listen, everyone loves Skyrim, and if you say you didn't, you're fucking capping when it came out. Man, I don't know. I, you know what? I feel about Skyrim kind of how I feel about Half-Life 2. So. <laughs> L.A. Noir? Only the driving scenes, I think. <laughs> I think L.A. Noir driving scenes, 10 out of 10. Perfect game, very important, very powerful, just really flawless, and then everything else kind of dragged it down. KOTOR? KOTOR is probably not a perfect 
game, but it's one of my favorites of all time. I love it. It feels like it has some hardware limitations that it wouldn't have nowadays. I think if you play KOTOR Remaster, if you haven't played KOTOR, I highly recommend playing the Remaster when it comes out. Hitman Horse. Yeah, Hitman Horse is probably an 11. Atrock Racing. Ooh. You know what I should do? Ow! Fuck! Ah! Fucking shit! Ow! Fuck. Ow! I was playing with this stupid thumbtack, and then I jammed it into my goddamn finger. <laughs> God damn, that hurt. Why on earth would you do that? Because it was fun, all right? <laughs> I'm gonna give that thumbtack a fucking 10 out of 10. That shit was fun, dude.